In this code.org lesson, we're going to dive into the importance of sequencing. Code runs in order, and it matters. So let's get started with these puzzles. This is code.org. Let's get going. Sequencing. Continue here. Oh, right. After connecting all of the blocks, press 1 to start your program. All right, let me hit the X. X. We have a workspace. One block is here, and they want us to use three. For the puzzle, snap all the blocks together and click run. Okay, so let me just droop, drop. Yep, and now droop, drop. Notice we have now used three out of three blocks. That's all we're supposed to use. Let's hit run. Boom, boom, kwapow. Code runs in order, so we moved straight down the code and onward. Here we are, drag an extra move forward block out of the toolbox, then attach all of the blocks to the win run. So win run, move forward once, twice. We've used three out of our four, so I can just grab here and drop it. Now I should move forward one, two, three times. Plop, plop, plop. We did it. Onward. It's going to get trickier. Hit continue. All right, let's see what we have here. Use the blocks in the toolbox, toolbox, to build your program. Get the bird to the pig. Bird, pig. All right. Now I have one block in my workspace, which is win run, and I can use up to six blocks. So I like to just start putting stuff down. It looks like I drop and then I'm going to turn left, I believe. And then I need to go forward. And it's okay to be wrong with code. So I can always test. I could hit run to test. I can hit step to test. Oh, that's the pig. That's the board. Yikes. See, and I made a mistake. It happens. So I don't need a right yet. You can test a lot in code. I think I'm going to need to go forward three. And then what way is that? Right, I believe. Let's run it. Whoop, and I need one more move forward. All right, and there we are. Let's try this out. Code always runs in order. Quapow. Cool. Onward. All right, help the bird get to the pig. There is one extra blue move forward block. Throw away the extra block by removing it from the other blocks, dragging it back to the toolbox. So we have six blocks in our workspace, but we're only supposed to use five. I bet it's this one that is wrong. Oh, I don't want to throw out everything. Let me drag all that over. Let's get rid of this and quapow maybe. And let's see what it does. Please, yes, boom, boom. And code always runs in order. Awesome. Onward. Debugging. Okay, well, let's continue to the puzzles, though. All right. Use your debugging skills to get Scrat to the acorn. All right, so we have five blocks on our workspace, and we can use up to six. So there's going to be one more. Let's see what this code does. It's always good to run stuff first. Uh-oh. Ah! And if you want to see step by step, I jump forward, and then what runs next? We'll turn. Well, that's a problem, because now I'm going to what? Jump. Quapow. It runs in order. So I think I'd want to go one more step forward before and I know I need at least one more block because it said I had five so far. Let's try this. Boom, boom, turn right, boom, yeah. Victory. Let's keep going. All right. Trace the path and lead me to the acorn. All right. So there's only one block and we can use up to six. These numbers are like hints. They say, hmm, maybe you should use three of these, two of these, two of these. Let's see though. Like always, I'm gonna throw some code down and hope I don't die. Let's see where two gets us. Step I can use to run one line at a time once and whoa, okay. So, but it's always okay to be wrong with code. That's the really nice thing about it. I think that's a right turn and then maybe a left turn and then a forward. Is that enough forwards? Oh, maybe one here and there. And again, test this stuff out. I'm pretty sure this is good because I've used six out of six blocks and none of these have numbers. They're all at zero. Boom. Jump. Boom. Yeah. We did it! Onward. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Someone has their directions mixed up. Can you help? Hmm, okay, so they have this code for us, or is this the code we already did? Let's hit run and see what this does. Always feel free to run your code again and again. You can be wrong a bunch. Okay, well, that don't work, so let me reset. Where do we go wrong here? Step. Oh, yeah, we jumped forward. That's good. Now, let's see. Well, wait a minute. I'm facing the wrong way, so I'm going to go ahead and say left. Now let me reset and try this again. And I can just kind of take it one step at a time. Code runs in order, order, move forward, okay. Now let's step. Whoa, that's not the right way. Let's try this now. And again, debug your code. Feel free to run it a billion times and be wrong a billion times, because then you'll get it right. The goal is to understand it, not to be perfect the first run. Continue. 
Okay, ooh, that's a lot of code. Looks like we have too much, right? So they gave us 10 blocks. They only want us to use nine. Figure out what is wrong and get Scrat to the air corn. Easiest way to figure it out is for me to walk through it. Step. Okay, I'll move forward one. That looks fine. Whoa-oh, this isn't... Hey, hey, dude, acorn's over here. Am I gonna go... Nope, okay. So that was not... Let's not turn right. Let's turn left. And let me try again. Yep, that looks good. Yep, fix that guy. Move forward. Yep. Oh, I moved forward too many times. Uh-oh. I'm going to get rid of one of those. And notice how I'm just going through it piece by piece. Code runs in order, and I'm just kind of peering into what's going on here. Yeah, we did it. Onward. Ooh, challenge. Challenge are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. We are so ready. Debug the level, rearrange, adding and deleting blocks. Let's see what it does so far. Forward, forward. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that looked like one too many move forwards. Yikes, move forward one, then what? Is this a left or a right? That looks like a left to me. Forward, forward. And let's test it out. Step, yep, yep. One and two. This is looking good. That's looking good. Go forward. Oh, I think I need to move forward when I turn left. Turn right. And then move forward again. Let's try. Notice how often I run these things. Again, practice makes perfect. Boom. We did it. We did a challenge. We are awesome. All right. Count the spaces on the grid carefully. Oh, I know what I mean there. Looks like we have one block in the workspace, but we can use up to ten. One, two, three, four. Four. And then I guess a right turn. And then I guess four more. Now in code, if you're repeating yourself, there's often an easier way. So this will work. I'm using 10 out of 10 blocks. Boom. But look at this repeat thing here. I'm going to hit reset real quick because I just want to show you. This is correct. If you have that, awesome job. What if I do this? I use a repeat. I throw a four in there and I drop and move forward. This now will do the same thing, except I can just use one move forward and make the repeat run it four times. Boom. Pretty cool. And we use less blocks. Onward. All right, let's see what we got. Workspace, one out of 12, we gotta get here. All right, so I'm just gonna throw stuff down. I wanna move forward, it looks like I wanna turn right, and then it looks like stairs maybe, turn left, move forward, turn right, turn left, I'm guessing here, step. Boom, always just go through your code one piece at a time. You should definitely try this stuff without watching me. Move forward, turn right. Is that where I messed up? Let's see. Oh, see, and that's where I'm going wrong. So turn right and then move forward. Then I bet it's turn left, move forward, turn right. Let's see here. You really should be trying to solve this though. Give it a shot and then run. Move forward, turn right, good. Move forward, turn left, yep. Move forward, yep, turn right, and it looks like we're almost there. Move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, and I bet this is the last move forward. Boom, boom, and we made it. I want to show you one other way. If you're really analyzing this closely, you could have done it. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. Move forward, turn right, move forward, and we could have turned left at the end. It wouldn't matter. We don't need to repeat ourselves. We're going to learn more about this block later. But if you're fancy, you could have done this. And that will make those lines of code repeat on its own. What we had before was correct, but this uses less code. Pretty cool. All right, onward.